These jury instructions for R. Kelly's New York trial are very problematic. You have the federal government telling uh, the jury that they're not to be concerned about the illegal tactics that they used. Um, they say that they're not on trial. R. Kelly is the only one on trial. They're saying to not worry about if a witness's statements are inconsistent. They can um, see it as an honest mistake. So the way they are framing the jury questions is to leave no wiggle room for reasonable doubt against R. Kelly. I've never seen anything like it. I've never heard of uh, witnesses and accusers being able to give statements that are inconsistent. Inconsistent statements means that you're lying because if you're really a victim, you're going to know what happened. You don't have to say one thing one day and then another thing the other day. Um, Y'all, we are fighting an uphill battle. R. Kelly has been treated wrong ever since he was charged. This whole case was illegally brought. And uh, if we are living in a decent country, the Supreme Court would step in and demand that all charges be dropped. It's no way the federal government should be able to get away with this. They've done enough. They're not giving R. Kelly his diabetic medicine. So he has, uh, his diabetes could get out of control. He doesn't have access to his attorneys. He is being put in um, cells with inmates who have tuberculosis and he caught tuberculosis. The, the entire system has done him wrong. And I need for his attorneys to get on the ball and start filing lawsuits against the federal government. They are wrong and they need to pay for their crimes against an innocent American citizen. R. Kelly has never been convicted of a crime and even if he was convicted of a crime, he still would have rights as an American. And I think a lot of people are forgetting that. You know, that's getting lost in the sauce of all of this. You know, um, there's people who don't like R. Kelly, they're saying good for him, good for him. And they're just idiots. And uh, they're going to guess what's coming to them for wishing bad on R. Kelly. But for the rest of us who have common sense and for those of us who are R. Kelly fans, we need to demand that these lawyers file uh, lawsuits against the federal government before trial. It's no way R. Kelly's rights should be violated like this. It's no way. And they need to go on and file a lawsuit with the Supreme Court as well before trial starts. So that way, uh, after the trial, it'll be heard. By the time trial gets around, it'll already be in the system. Uh, y'all, I'm tired of these people. I hate them. The federal government is full of liars. They set R. Kelly up. They admitted to using illegal tactics. And they say, law enforcement tactics are not your concern. That's what they said in the, uh, in the paperwork. Uh, <laughs> I've never seen nothing like this. I'm still flabbergasted. Oh my God, these people are evil. These people are evil. Anyway, free R. Kelly, free R. Kelly, free R. Kelly. Um, he needs his medicine. He needs his insulin, y'all. It's inhumane to keep his insulin from him. This is not fair. This is not fair. I don't know what we got to do, but the lawyers really got to file these lawsuits. Fuck anybody who don't like R. Kelly. <laughs>